Okay. Yeah, at my restaurant. All right. Um, I am Gio. And I'm Ariana. <laughs> and this is uh, the story of our trip around the country. With Bubbles. Who's Bubbles, Ari? The bu- Volkswagen bus. Okay, so we restored a Volkswagen bus uh, that Joe found in a uh, in a field. So, Ari. So we're leaving. Okay, we're so New York. so this we is the everything in the van. the bus is all packed up and and we're ready to go. Okay, so you can see in this map first we went to New York, and then uh, we went to stopped in Massachusetts, and then we um. We went up to uh, Lake George, which is uh, in the Catskills, upstate New York. And then you see we start heading west. So uh, these pictures following here is um, is uh, first New York. We stopped and took a picture. Alex took our picture in Times Square. So now we're at Bryant Park. We went to the restaurant uh, with Gio's family. And uh, there they all are. His cousin Chinsia from right there. Yeah, that's my cousin from Rome, from Rome. Who, who happened to be in New York that weekend. And that's his brother's Alex, Milo, Christoph. Yep, and uh, our and our girlfriends, my parents up front. There's a- my brother yeah, Alex yeah. and Lizzie, my parents, uh, my brothers, and my auntie Yvonne, my dad's sister. There's uh, Chinsia, and here we are with the bus. We parked it across the street and um, paid like $50 for two hours, and um, now we're going back to the hotel. Okay. So this is the next morning. We're strapping down all of the stuff on the roof to get it ready to go to Massachusetts. Okay, like I had to take everything off the roof because all the parking is underground in New York. So here we are in Massachusetts, where I went to a Steiner school, Waldorf school, and there's my best friend to the left in the white shirt that I knew in nursery school at Steiner. Yes. And uh, our hosts are the Splendorios there in the middle. Uh, they are both Waldorf teachers, uh, career Waldorf teachers. And um, Barbara Wachonki knew me when I was in nursery, so it's uh, very nice to be hosted at their house. There's me dancing. <laughs> okay, my parents' friends, also Waldorf uh, family in uh, Great Barrington. Uh, my friend's house, he's fixing our propane stove, um, just putting uh, and fixed our sink in, in the bus, inside the bus. So here we are in upstate New York, Lake George. This is the reunion for uh, my mother's side of the family. I'll just sort of go through these quickly. Here's me, my brother Milo, Alex, his girlfriend, the dog, my mother, the dog, the dog, the fire, another dog. Okay, so here we are with the bus uh, parked at the campsite. Uh, It was fun. The whole family... All these relatives camped out, and uh, we got to try out the bus yeah, camping. So here I am, uh, you know, doing last-minute repairs uh, right before we're about to drive 3,000 miles to uh, Nevada. Right. You can see the pins on our hat for the Birking crew. And, uh... There's the whole clan. And here we are, on the on the way. Eric, take over. We're going to Pennsylvania. Yuri. <laughs> she was uh, driving. <laughs> so now we're in Erie, Pennsylvania at our very first KOA. Which is a campground of America. Yeah, and it was very nice. We're kind of like, you know, just driving as fast as we can to get across the country in seven days to get to Burning Man. Yeah. And this is what, Lake? This is Lake Erie. Lake Erie. Yeah. So the Great Lakes were pretty cool. First kind of yeah. big thing we saw. But we're, we're proud of the bus. We are now in, <laughs> in a place we've never been to, that we've never seen before. And so far the bus has not blown up or broken down. So we're very happy. <laughs> Taking pictures. Here we are in Ohio. Lots of corn. 
Yep, nice rest stop. <laughs> this is very beautiful, our first like sunset. And uh, Chicago is kind of right across the lake there, and this is Lake, what? Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan. Yeah. It was just a beautiful sunset. So that's that's fresh water waves yeah, yeah. crashing on the beach. That was really cool. It's a big lake. We took a lot of pictures there. <laughs> stick bug. There were these giant stick bugs there. Gio's not, Gio's not talking. I mean, Stephen's not talking. He's trying to be quiet. Gio's now driven for like seven hours and he's just like ready to kill me because I won't drive. Yeah, I, I did all the driving um, on the trip, but it was fine. So here we are in Iowa. This is, I guess, our third night on the road. Um, nice campsite um, and nice people. You can see we have electric hooked up and uh, water uh, spigot right there. It's pretty cool. The, the top popped open and, uh, you know, we're just cooking breakfast. Back on the More road. Corn. Yep. Lots of corn. That's our air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> Nebraska State Fair, a very exciting event. You know, corn for three days and then the Nebraska State Fair. We had corn dogs. And, uh... <laughs> right? <laughs> totally. Yeah, this, this was not planned at all. Uh, we just saw signs for the, the State Fair. And, and money hanging out of my back pocket. I, I think it was a Friday or something. And, uh, you know, it was... Like, it was totally awesome. It was a big event, you know? More corn. Drain. Drain. That was exciting. <laughs> okay, this is where we started to uh, get out of the flatness, um, and we ended up in uh, Wyoming. We start to see the first hills, but also the first uh, storm. We had, like, a rainstorm, very heavy wind, uh, and we had to exit... All of a sudden, like, we can't, we're going 40 miles an hour. Yeah, and we're going all over the road. We had to get off the highway just to move. Yeah. So we didn't make it very far, but here we are in Wyoming. Uh, Aries making dinner. And next day, we start to see rocks. Beautiful clouds, beautiful sky. Wind farms, that was really cool. We saw lots of uh, parts for the, what are they called? Yeah, huge, huge hundred foot, you yeah, know, you propellers. Them, like, on trucks everywhere, like, yeah. they're building somewhere. They're really cool. Is this a salt flats? Um, here we are coming down into uh, Utah, driving, uh, and it reminded me of Switzerland, actually. These videos, I'm taking them uh, from the dashboard of the van because I use my cell phone as the GPS. So uh, this is the salt flats of uh, Salt Lake City. Okay, so um, at this point we're a day late uh, getting to Burning Man. So that whole day, so we're, we're a day behind now um, of what we could enter at Burning Man. So, but we did make it to the Nevada state line. Uh, we're just, just over the line, we're just past the salt flats in uh, Nevada. We still have a full day drive. So here we are uh, driving up these enormous uh, hills. It's about 105 degrees outside. And uh, we have the van full of full of water. Water. You go into to, uh, Burning Man, and you have to bring all your water in with you. And they say that you should have 
a gallon and a half per day per person that go. Yeah. So we have a lot of water. So we have like 30, 30 gallons of water, some 30 gallons. Of so Ariana is complaining that uh, she has to go pee, and I'm like, we just stopped 20 minutes ago, um, but all right, fine. So we stop, and I find that the tire is getting flat, and it turns out that it's leaking from the valve stem because of all the weight um, it act and the heat, it uh, blew the valve stem up. So I had to change uh, the put on the spare, and uh, we decided to keep going with just the spare on and not stop and fix the tire. Which turned out to be a great decision because we made it to Burning Man that night. We're stopping for some dinner um, and turning off the main highway uh, to this little road that goes up to Burning Man. Right, so you see right in Fernley that picture was right exiting the interstate and then we're driving about a hundred miles uh, north. It's about, seven, about 80 miles north to the, uh, the playa the, the old lake bed. Um, all right. So now we're in line, waiting to get in to Burning Man, behind the love sub. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to wait. So we get there, and it's about um, midnight, like 11. 11 or something. Yeah. We waited in the line for about two hours, and we learned that people who had been there during the opening part of Burning Man had waited in line for some nine hours to get in. And imagine doing that in the middle of the day, in the yeah. middle of all the heat. So it was good that we got there at night, because our car probably wouldn't have uh, lasted too long in line. And they were actually coming over to us in the bus saying, um, if you turn off your car, are you going to be able to turn it back on again? Because they had been towing Volkswagen buses in all day. Because they, they would turn them off in line, and they wouldn't be able to start them off again. Yeah, they'd all overheat. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we arrived at Burning Man, and we were staying. We knew like the street intersection at Burning Man that we were staying because we were staying with. Um, we planned to stay with this Volkswagen camp, and uh, so we went there, and they waved us in, and you know, yeah. it was great. So we're we're staying with like probably a hundred other Volkswagen buses, most of them uh, so classic, air air cooled. Um, so this is Buszilla, and at night it flows. Yeah, it's two, two buses attached together. Yeah. <laughs> and like, our bus is like right back behind us. And oh, yeah. Like a little it, was, <laughs> it was nice to have, awesome. have some, uh, you know, support, support group. That yeah. We weren't the only one in a bus. That's fine. No. We were definitely the only one in a bus from, from New, New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, we were pretty popular. <laughs> <actually. New> <laughs> yeah. They were like into it. They thought we were pretty cool. They made us feel good. And uh, so during the day, you just kind of like sit around. Because, yeah. you know, Dio, Dio wouldn't sit around. He's like, the thing. it's hot. Yeah, it's like midday. You can't do yeah. anything. Yeah. But in the morning, you can do some stuff. We uh, tie dyed our first day there. That was fun. At nighttime, every, everything looked totally different at night because everything was lit up. During the day, everything was kind of dusty. And at night, it was like a light show. It was really cool. And that's the man. The man that burns. That's an art car as well. The big glowing fish. So you ride around your bike. You have to have a bike. That's a pier. That was pretty cool. Reminds me of the Jersey Shore. <laughs> There's Geo riding his bike. Is that a bar? This is our street. This is like the best time of day, 5 o'clock. Yeah. There's just, there's like constant music playing everywhere. And you're just, you sort of get into this like weird like zone, of just like constant like, you know, music and stuff. So at night there's a lot of fun stuff. This is uh, Friday night. They're burning the Trojan horse. And uh, we're standing like really close to it because this is the first burn that we've been to, and it's hot. It's like really, it's like burning your face off. You're really close. Yeah, it was. And it there's no like lines. They have like people, you know, making sure that you're not running into a fire, but they're not. It's not like, you know. There's Ariana's friend from Florence who met us yeah. there. Yeah. Our Russian friend. Yeah. <laughs> That's Gio and I. Yeah. We have to get dressed up. Yeah. We have to wear these goggles. We have to wear goggles. Yeah. And we're like, we won't be able to see anything. Like, we've got. 
So this is this giant, um, this is really cool. No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a temple. They have a temple every year. It's always different. But this year it was um, a harp. So it's like one of these things is attached to all of these. So um, the strings of yeah. the right. They, yeah, like over here. <laughs> And then they burned it on Sunday night, and everyone was quiet during this burn. But inside, inside the temple, <laughs> what people do every year that go every year is they bring, like, if somebody died in their family or their dog or whatever, they bring, they make little shrines of their own, and they bring and they leave them inside the temple, and like, they burn the whole thing. Wood, wood. like okay, plywood, wood. like because you can walk on it and in it, you know, it's not. <laughs> The yeah. Whatever. Yeah, they, they clean it up. Okay, so this is like we call this is called like the burbs, where just this is just random people camping, like just randomly. Yeah, they they have a group of like twenty friends and they all go and they find a spot and and that's it. Like the the Volkswagen camp, it's like in a registered place right. and like, you know, people sort of know where it is. But um, this is cool. This is where Aveto was staying, Ariana's friend. You know, you meet a lot of people. They have these awesome, like, you know, techno areas all day long and all night long. And um, they're giving away free drinks at all these things, too, which is amazing. This is no, no money involved. No advertising. No brand names. We're filling out our census forms at the uh, town center there. <laughs> they have, like... I mean, it's like a city. There's an airport there. There's a post office. You can send mail out. You can send mail to people. There's 70,000 people yeah. for for one week uh, officially, but then you've got like probably two months on either side for volunteers that stay long term. Okay, so here we are uh, in the morning after we left. This is uh, Monday morning. Uh, this is uh, this is Labor Day. And uh, we're getting new tires finally. Remember, we had that flat tire. Yep. Changing the oil um, and stopped at Pep Boys, where I used to work. Zero drove all through the night to get out. So after the temple burn on Sunday, he's like, "We're leaving," because otherwise we're gonna be stuck here because there's everybody, I mean, there's seventy thousand people leaving at the same time. You can't get out. It's one road. One road. Seventy. 70,000 people, okay? This is not a giant stadium. So we're, we're leaving at night. It took us two hours to get out of Burning Man and then whatever it took us to get to Reno. And we talked to some people in Tahoe um, the next day and they said it took, it took them like five hours, 10 hours to get out. Yeah, and so this is like Tahoe. Yeah. So we met people that took them a lot longer. They were just getting out and we had spent the entire day at Lake Tahoe just sleeping in the sun okay. yeah this is so we decided to go to Yosemite because we were pretty close um, and we met some people and they said that it was cool so so we did this but here's the bus you know we're doing like a pretty steep grade you got like maybe six seven percent grade here yeah and we would go up those too yeah with with the bus and all of our stuff yeah but uh, beautiful you know coming into the Yosemite Basin, basically, on our way there. Lunch. Stopping for lunch. Um, yep. There's me with my banana. I'm miserable. <laughs> the bus. The cows. The cows. Lake Mono, descending down into Lake Mono. This is right by Yosemite. It's a lake. And uh, you'll see pictures of it in a little bit. More close up. So this is where we. This is the only place we camped completely for free. It was like a pull off off the main road, um, but there were other people camping there too. There was like three or four other people camping there. You couldn't see it from the main road, and it was the most beautiful view. And it was really nice. The million dollar view. The guy at the at the mobile station told us to go there. He said, "Yeah, you can camp there for free. Don't worry about it." So now we're going into Yosemite. Yay! Yeah, it's beautiful. Bubbles is very excited. Lots of uh, forest fires. And we, uh, we, we parked and rode our bikes around. Yeah. 
um, when we got to Yosemite Village. Yeah, we didn't go down that. I think <laughs> I think someone got mauled by a bear, yeah, so they like, closed off that yeah. trail. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like Half Dome. There's a little water. Okay, this is the famous Half Dome of Yosemite. All right, now we are at Lake Mono. Uh, the next day. Really cool rocks. <laughs> So this river or this lake, it doesn't um, drain anyway. So the water, yeah, the water comes in, but right. So that's why like these things form because um, the what's it called? The minerals all yeah. stay there, and it's very salty. And there's all these little um, flies at the river's edge. And the cool story that we learned was that the, the Indians from Lake Mono would trade with the Indians from Yosemite, and they, they would trade for acorns, and they would trade their little flies. They, like, they yes. There wouldn't be a lot of all that. See all this black here at the edge? That's all flies. And they don't, yeah, but they don't like jump up and bother you. They're just like, <laughs> here's, here's a video of the flies. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right, pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, they they don't bother you, but uh, they would trade those flies because they taste like buttery rice. For. for okay. <laughs> All right. Instead of uh, going back to Reno, we decided to go uh, on through Eastern Nevada because they had all these uh, towns that were called like hot springs. Well, it turns out uh, they haven't been hot springs, they haven't been towns since the 1950s. Right. So Let's put it that way. It's like 200 miles of no no nothing. No people, no nothing. That was the rest stop, the yeah. one rest stop. Here, here uh, the, the next gas uh, is 160 miles. So we just barely made it. Um, and yeah, yeah. well yeah, there's, that's the rest area. <laughs> Nobody had used it in weeks. But but a beautiful immaculate. beautiful country, you know, yeah. beautiful land. All right, so we cross over the eighty. We're going up into Idaho. Um, towards Montana. And this is like the light in Montana too, right? You know, it's like the gold, like purple, red. I don't know what it is. It's gorgeous. Here is Montana. I think. Yeah, Maybe, like yeah. that's Montana. That yeah. that color, is, that's Montana. It's so intense. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Where are we? The We're at the G. Lazy G Ranch, <laughs> chilling in the hot tub, looking at the view. <laughs> Checking out the uh, scenery. All right. So we we did a white rot water rafting in the morning, and then in the uh, afternoon we went for a horseback ride with. Uh, Randy. Right. Randy. Yep. Very good. Randy from uh, Jake's Horses. It, it was, was great. I mean, this was like, he took us two hours, yeah. you know, all over. And it was like, no, we, I, we, yeah. yeah, we. I think we paid $115 or something. Crazy. I thought that was a good deal. For a private friggin' tour. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I hadn't been on a horse since I was like six. And he took us through like rivers and stuff. Yeah, like we went through big rivers. We have a picture of a small one, but we went through yeah. like rivers that were up to the chest of the horse, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was awesome. Four wheel drive, as he as he put it. <laughs> but he made us stand in the river and take this ridiculous photo. I think he brings people here a lot or something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's some pictures of uh, Lazy G. Beautiful yeah. mountains. Working on the van. All right, Ari. So we're going a hike for a hike with uh, my friend from high school, Kather, and her daughter, Madeline, and her husband, Danny. Yeah. That was really, really pretty. Yeah, and it was like an easy hike because she's pregnant. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that was cool. And now we're at uh, Yellowstone. We spent a day at Yellowstone. So this is Sunday, last day uh, in Montana, basically. Well at the Lazy G. But Yellowstone like blew our minds. It's really amazing. And uh, it's a nice day to be there. 
But, um, yeah. It's, vol it's volcanic. There's uh, Old Faithful Geyser. Um, I was, like, taking a picture of myself with the rock formation. It's a buffalo. It's all this, like, really cool stuff. I think you could spend a lot of time, you know, in these national parks. You spend a week. You hike That's into terrible. them. Yeah. I mean, there's so much that you don't see. Like, we really saw what was, like, on the road. You know, we drove. We got out. We saw. We drove. You know, we didn't do this, like, go in and hike and camp thing, which is where you see, like, the most beautiful stuff, you know? So I'm sure we want to do that in our lifetime. It's like, go back to the Yosemite and, like, hike in for, like, three days. But, you know, we were just kind of getting a lay of the land, seeing what was out there. Lots of animals, elk. I was sleeping in the back of you at that point. <laughs> so this is just a day, you know, we just did one big loop, but we, we ended up here at Artist Point at, at sunset, and uh, I'd never seen anything like this in my whole life. In Yellowstone, it's Artist called point. Artist Point. It's at, Artist? Yeah, yeah, Artist Point. It's where, it's the famous point that the artists would paint that's that's, Yellowstone. that's the Yellowstone River. Yeah. That's Yellowstone Falls. This is Yellowstone, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Hello. But I mean, it's just like it was the first time I, like, had trouble kind of breathing, because <laughs> because you know it's sort of like it literally takes your breath away. You know. Cute deer, right? They're right. elk. Whatever. Elk. It's not an elk. Not that's an not elk. an elk. It's a deer really? of some kind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah. Buffalo. Sun setting. We're trying to get home now. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. This is when we're leaving yeah. the night we leave uh, the Lazy G. Yeah. A sad night. We had to tear ourselves away. Yeah, sunset, though, huh? yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Oh, just every night. Every night. All right. So here we are uh, in Montana, heading north, uh, going towards uh, Canada. Canada. We're we're not going to Seattle through the west, through the I-90. We are going north to meet our fate. Okay, okay here we are at Glacier National Park. Um, one of the nicest uh, campground of America's we stayed at. Uh, and a gorgeous uh, sunset when we pulled in. Ari's making dinner. It's her birthday this evening. Okay, so here we are in Canada. Uh, you can see the, the Rockies on the left still. But uh, it's pretty exciting. We're, we're to Canada. So right. this is Calgary. Yeah. This and is, uh, so we're... Uh, Alberta, Canada. Alberta, Canada, overlooking the suburbs. Um, and this is the route that we took. You see that we came up on the right, uh, Glacier National Park, straight up to Calgary took the transatlantic route one trans canada route one uh cam loops and down to vancouver and you can see the stops um it only took us one day to go through banff and then but here we we wanted to check out calgary so we took our bikes yeah. and we rode into the city yeah they have like all the bike it's really nice you know it's the west and canada you know they're bike friendly people it's not like new york <laughs> Chained our bikes. Oh, I gave up riding up this hill. It's at the end of the day. It's like no more. So now we're off. So this is Bam, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lake Louise, and uh, a lot of people there. Huge hotel. That's like Louise. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. The hotel is really nice. Yeah, All right, here we are exiting the uh, Canadian Rockies. Last pictures of snow for a while. Uh, beautiful rainbow. Uh, we had a massive storm, and then you have this rainbow behind us, full rainbow, um, as we're coming into Vancouver. And uh, yeah, here we are in the uh, in Vancouver. We just pulled into my cousin's house, yeah, and he said, "Come up to the roof and check out the sunset." Yeah, Vancouver was really beautiful. I would live there, in like so quickly. Actually, of the north, west. 
I would say Vancouver was where I would live. You know, I wouldn't live in Seattle or, or you know, even though we really liked Port Portland, it was just so beautiful. Every day that we were here, it was sunny. I mean, it wasn't, it rained a couple days, but it was, you know, it was still really nice and sunny. So we got, you know, this really nice time there. Whereas when we went to Seattle and Oregon, it was raining and like, or just cloudy the whole time. It was not sunny once. Yeah. So it was just like, you know, you wouldn't want to live there, even though they're cool places. So we had to, Gio worked on the car while we were staying at George's house. And uh, what did we do? We, we like changed something. What did we do? I helped. Yeah, figured out that the, figured out that the uh, engine <coughs> It's oh, not yeah. actually an engine from a 79 bus, it's an engine from probably like a 74 bus with a casing from a 79 bus. So um, we found out that it actually has adjustable valves. Anyway, after doing... Yeah, yeah. after we did this repair, uh, it end, we ended up having more power and better gas mileage. Yeah, and I helped adjust the valves. It was, it was very exciting for me. I felt like I was doing real mechanical work on the van. I was involved, yeah. I was learning things about mechanics. So this is in, still in Vancouver. We went to this really cool park. It was very, like, you know, gnome-like. There was just, like, rainforest. Lots of moss hanging from the trees. Suspension bridge. Um, really cool waterfalls. This is George and Gio, his cousin George, that lives in Vancouver. He's half Chinese. Why do you always have to say that? Why do you always mention that? He's like the George and half Chinese. Okay, so this is going through the tunnel um, to get to go on the ferry, uh, to take the ferry to. Um, It was really nice to take the ferry. Um, it was really beautiful. Got to see all the islands and land around from the water. So here's the map. Uh, you can see up at the top, we leave Vancouver. Uh, we go down to Victoria Island by ferry. Um, we spent two nights on Victoria Island at two very nice campgrounds, and then we took the ferry to Port Angeles um, and looped down around to Seattle. We wanted to take the ferry to Anacortes and come down from the north, but uh, they only had one ferry and it left at noon, and uh, we didn't realize that till later. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. It had like this, the rocky beach, you know. And the water sound, it made like, you know, really pretty sounds crashing on this beach. And then we saw these, this is the first time we saw like the Pacific Ocean seaweed, which we've never seen before, you know? Yeah. We're like, what the hell is this? Yeah. It looks like giant alien sea monsters. We we're like totally freaked out by these things. Yeah. It's, yeah. It is disgusting. disgusting. The big balls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's Pete. gross. I don't understand. We have the most beautiful ocean here in New Jersey. Point Pleasant Beach is the most beautiful swimming ocean in the world. So we took a lot of pictures of, or I took a lot of pictures of the different seaweed because I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and there are these giant logs that just like wash up. They're floating all in the ocean. This is uh, Victoria, the city of Victoria. Gio walked around while we were waiting for our ferry. Yeah, it was, I mean, the good thing about leaving from, uh, you know, going to Port Angeles was we left from Victoria. So we got to see downtown Victoria, which is pretty nice. And um, there was uh, this, this <laughs> clown. clown. Okay, move on. <laughs> so now we're in Seattle, and we're staying. Uh, this is actually the street that his friend has a apartment on with his family. What's your friend's name? Yeah, he's my friend from high school, uh, Zaylin, and his, like, he's got four siblings, and they they started a company yeah. in Seattle. It's really cool. They make uh, clothing for Ultimate 
frisbee teams, like different colleges that have, apparently it's a big thing. And uh, so they have this, you'll see pictures of it, but it's really cool. I mean, they started their own company. And so this is in the uh, fish market, the famous Seattle farmer's market. You know, Starbucks, had to go to the original Starbucks. This is a Frank Garrity designed building, which is really cool. I, this is the first time I've seen one in person, so that was exciting for me. So this is their, their office, and they have like a bunch of people working for them. That's Zaylin, Gio's friend from high school. It's his brother. And this is in their apartment in Seattle, with beautiful Over, view. Overlooking uh, the city, really nice. <clears throat> and their parents' house, which is like on this lake. We, we, just Gio and I were staying there for like a couple of days because his parents were away in China or something. I don't know. But it, it was Italy. gorgeous. Yeah, it was or really. Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Yeah. Is it in Oregon now? This is Portland. Portland. Yeah. Portland. Yeah. There was about 450 uh, coffee shops in one square mile, so we had to go to one. Stopped for bagels, rode our bikes into the city. Massachusetts, right? We had actually seen him um, in the beginning pictures. We, had, we went to their family's house for lunch. So anyway, he's uh, living in Portland. He's got this great apartment. He's a musician. He teaches music as well. But he's like, you know, making it as a musician there. And he's, we went to this club two nights in a row, I think. And it was really fun. We got to hear some cool, funky music. Yeah, it was it was cool. I mean, we got a taste of uh, Portland, which uh, is dubbed uh, where young people go to retire, uh, because everything is very cheap. <clears throat> you know, you walk into like a a pool, you know, hall or something, billiards place, and uh, the all the all the pool tables are free. It's a bar. Yeah, and you just <clears throat> you buy your drink, <clears throat> or, dinner. or you order food you know, at the table and you go sit down and it's brought to you and, and you never have to tip because you pay ahead of time. <laughs> so you, you get a good good meal for eight bucks, you know. It's great. So now it's like, you know, we've just spent two weeks in rain, cloud, darkness of the northwest and all of a sudden, like, boom, we're in California and the sun is out. Yeah, like, well, this is, so this is northern California. We just, uh, we like came down out of Oregon and hit hit the Pacific coast. So this is And it was sunny all of a sudden. It yeah. was like we just had to get out of the car and be like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like the first time we're seeing like uh coast. you know, California just everything sort of lit up, you know, as soon as we got there. Sure. So here here we are at um <clears throat> Redwood? Yeah. We're in the Redwood Forest. We we're stopped at a uh thing called Trees of Mystery. <laughs> the tourist trap. Right. <laughs> we just had to go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, but but the the highlight of the stop was of course the the, giant tree. the tree of brotherhood, 19 foot diameter, yeah. um, enormous thing, and uh, it's it's very interesting. Redwoods are um, they're very old, you know, trees, and they only exist at the coast because they were all destroyed by the uh, glaciers in other places. Paul Bunyan and his uh, faithful friend Babe, which happened to be the same color as Bubbles, so we had to take a picture in front of her. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, oh yes, you gotta see this. I mean, there was like so many of them following yeah, so this elk. Uh, yeah, I think I've we have. Do we have a movie? Because I had a movie. What? I don't know. It was off the side of the road. But shh. Look at this. The bus in the redwoods driving around. The redwood forest is a really special place too. It's like really quiet. And you can you felt like, you know, this is what it looked like hundred years ago. Two hundred years ago. Thousand years ago. It looked just like this. Right, except for the road. <laughs> exactly. I mean it was incredible. We're also living with your bears. Yeah, we're in San Francisco. 
we're uh, at the place where they, for me, where they filmed <laughs> the opening sequence of Full House, which made me very excited. <laughs> so Lindsay took us. But this is uh, the Burning Man decompression party. This is where all the uh, burners from San Francisco, they throw a party a month later to uh, decompress. So Gio's wearing his um, handmade tie-dye shirt from Burning Man. Yeah, and, and my steampunk goggles. And uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun to be there on that weekend, you know, and we had been at Burning Man like a month before. And that's his cousin. Well, so a good friend from uh, grade school pretty cool this this is the church at Stanford we went and saw Ariana's cousin yeah, we went to see. he was going to he was flying yeah he was flying out to Australia and he had a layover in San Francisco while we were there so we picked him up at the airport hung out went to the beach drove around and then brought him back it is Chris oh he looks like big Chris yeah Okay, so here's a little idea of what we did uh, in the Bay Area, you know, so we landed in San Fran up at the top, uh, went down to Santa Clara, we stayed with uh, Ariana's friend Iveta, who we'd s seen at Burning Man. She took us to Apple. Um, you see the loop that we did uh, around uh, like Half Moon Bay with uh, little Chris, who w was staying, uh, oh, yeah. he had a layover, eight hour layover, so we picked him up at San Francisco Airport and we did a loop together for the day and then back and then uh, down to Monterey where I s yeah. met family that I had never met before. Yeah, but so here's some pictures of uh, the Bay Area. Aveta was working at Apple as a contractor so we got to go to one infinite loop <laughs> and um, go inside. Not everyone gets to go inside but we uh, got visitor passes as long as she stayed with us and uh, we got to go have lunch. I mean, the a Apple employees. Yeah. Cafeteria I've ever been in. Yeah, so my friend works for Apple, so we got to go and have lunch there with her. So it was awesome. It was really exciting. Yeah, we got to walk. Yeah, they're around. making like all sorts of world food. You know, I had I had paella for lunch. That was great. Was they were good. making like you know crazy like chai like Thai uh, Asian food and everything you would want inside. Yeah, and before. Yeah, so it was the week before Steve Jobs had passed and. Uh, there was this little mem impromptu memorial right there, and people had put like old iPods and boxes from their computers and you know flowers and stuff. I thought it was pretty moving actually, because it was pretty heartfelt stuff, you know. And, um, you know, loss of a of a pioneer. So that's Nina Betta hanging out by the van. All right, so here's my cousin Gene Donnelly. Yeah, in Monterey, and, uh, Absolutely beautiful place. you know, it's sort of just like cold calling, you know, it's like my aunt had visited her, you know, and everyone's saying you should call them up, but it's kind of like, you know, do you, do you want to just say like, hi, I'm your cousin, we've never met before, but, <laughs> you know, maybe you're available this weekend, and they said, of course, come and, uh, come for dinner, so here we are on, like, Sunday night, um, and, uh, Monday we we spent the day going around. It took us on a really really amazing tour. I mean that was like one of my favorite parts of seeing California. Although I'm sure every part was kind of one of my favorites, but they took us to all these places that had all this really cool wildlife on the beach, and we got to see all these seals. I mean I don't see this. this is, you yeah. know it's like amazing. It's incredible to me. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> she she it's said so that originally Monterey Bay was so full of of sea life they said you could like walk across the bay on the whales on the back of the whales king <laughs> king of all the sea sea lions um we went we went up to like a uh, monastery uh, and then we went on this, this was a really cool, like, nature hike that they took us on, um, and there's, like, you know, cliffs down to the ocean, but it was really foggy, so you can't really see unless you're there <laughs> from the pictures, but, um, yeah, it was a really neat little hike, and, uh, there's really cool trees, um, it was, like, it reminded me of 
This tray. Isn't that amazing? It reminded me of a karate kid for some reason. Because <laughs> this had to like climb down and get a tree, a bonsai or something. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is all, you know, protected wildlife, yeah. especially for the seals. That was the coolest thing. I mean, in California, you know, they just like felt shut down an entire beach. If like the, you know, the migrating patterns of the seals are to land at that beach, it's now a nature reserve. It's shut down for people. So you can go look at them. They have, what are they called? Docent? Docents? To tell you all about what they do there. But it was neat. It's like, you know, nice to see people moving out of the way of nature. So here we are on the uh, Big Sur coast. Um, it's all one big national park, basically. And there's some nice places to stop, like this waterfall area. Um, cool bridge. Like one of the nice, nicest uh, drives. Um, you know, as long as you let people pass. And people are doing like, <laughs> <laughs> people are doing bicycle trips, which is like now a dream of mine to do and on this, this Route 1, you know, all the way down the coast of you. These are all the elephant seals hanging out. They're like slugs, look at them. They're like these fat <laughs> slugs. They are, they're like <laughs> <laughs> They're like the weirdest things to watch. And then they fight each other. It's really funny. We always have to take pictures of bubbles. Alright, so here is Sir Searles oh yeah, Hearst Castle. I was close. Yeah, it was fun. Um, Yep, yeah. San Simeon. And here we are. You gotta take the bus up there. It's like thirty dollars a ticket. But it <laughs> it it includes uh the tour. Um and it's you know, it's pretty interesting be because uh you know, Mr. Hurst uh you know, he collected a lot of art from all over the world. So you have like uh you know, original Michelangelo sculptures and, you know, crazy things. Um, in this, uh, every room is basically like a museum. And, uh, beautiful outside. It was a perfect day. It wasn't too hot. <coughs> every, all the security guards and all the tour guides were saying how it was one of the perfect days to be there. Perfectly clear. And, um, yeah. nice. <laughs> Somebody told me that was like in a Jay-Z video. Yeah. But um, supposedly uh, Hearst was a pioneer of the, uh, the self-sustainable um, home. He could stay up there and since he had a whole farm and fruit and vegetables and everything, um, you know, he really didn't have to import too much. Um, and he, would, he would invite famous people to come. It's the indoor pool. Yeah, it's like ridiculous. <laughs> I just wanted to go swimming there, like literally that was my dream, was just to go swimming. It was so beautiful. This is really cool too, like we camped right next to the beach, and that's the yeah, ocean out there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Morro Bay, California. So here's our tour from Monterey down, you see, we're only doing about 100 miles a day. I mean, like, you know, two hours of driving. Yeah, it, so, or, so yeah, it was really nice to, to have to not have to push it and um, just enjoy each stop. And you can see we're on the way down to Los Angeles. So, um, you know, we had some nice places to stop. Here's uh, Morro Bay again. Me playing with the seaweed. <laughs> Malibu. Mal Malibu! I really thought I was going to, you know, be impressed by Malibu, but it was just like not even cool. I mean, it was fine. It was nice. It wasn't just wasn't anything like too impressive. The water kind of smelled funny. You know, there was a lot of like bugs and seaweed and you know, I wouldn't want to go swimming there. The, the houses on the water were kind of weird. Like really close. I don't know where to put your chair. I'm sure there's, ni there's other places that we didn't see, <clears throat> but um... So here's our next itinerary coming in <clears throat> off the uh, off the coast into Los Angeles, going down to Huntington Beach, and then we went to Laguna Niguel, visit family, up to Hollywood to visit my friend, 
and uh, here we are in Laguna Beach, um, and these are my cousins that I'd never met before. They're my dad's first cousins, and they were pretty cool. We got along pretty well, and um, it was nice to meet them. We went to this incredible five-star resort that's kind of hidden, uh, but it's uh, $3,400 a night. We got a little tour because they know the security guard guy. They wanted to see it too. So, all right, here we are at um, here we are in in Hollywood. We're at the Chinese Theater with Shirley Temple. We went for a hike over the Hollywood Hills. That was very very nice. You see Hollywood in the background to the left. It's out there. Yep. And here's my best friend uh, from grade school who lives in Hollywood. He's a photographer now. And uh, it was great to see him again. Alright, so here we are in uh, Phelan, um, California, meeting more, more relatives. Uh, but out there are some in the high desert of California. The Joshua Tree, yeah. The uh, the roads are not paved. Mo most of the roads are not paved. Maybe we should get a house out there. Yeah. Yep. Here's my auntie Paula, Bennett. We stayed with her for two days, and met her brother who lives across the street. And it was great. Here we are in uh, Arizona. Uh, at this point, we had a problem with the van that we solved uh, that morning. It was pretty exciting. Um, and uh, that was good for the tr for, for the trek. So we're at the Grand Canyon, and we like went and listened to all these rangers talk, which was pretty cool. Um, this one, we, we learned how we would survive if we were an Indian. <laughs> yeah. There's this plant that uh, he called it the Walmart out there. You can, Walmart. yeah, you can uh, make cups, and you can get water, and you can knit stuff from it, and make shoes, and make yourself a hat. And we learned we learned all about the different geology of the rocks. The, gra the Grand Canyon is actually a perfect place to study uh, geology because it goes back, uh, really, to the to the beginning of the Earth. Okay, here we are at the land in New Mexico. This is pretty exciting. This is south of Albuquerque. This is sort of what we did. You come in, Albuquerque is to the north, you got uh, Interstate 25, and then we came off onto the land. And, uh, yeah. And we were able to actually find the exact plot uh, using GPS now. Um, the, uh, if you build a house, you have to build a garage. Yeah, so, yeah. So we parked on the side of the road and we decided to hike out to the land because we couldn't figure out where the road was. No, these giant bugs. What was? Well, they're locusts. locusts. And then you have cacti. Yeah. And you see, but you see these riverbeds sort of where you see there's like washouts, you know. Um, I mean, we saw little trees. There's there's water there. The the other people that are living not too far, a mile, you can see them out in the distance there. They share wells, you know. So there is water. Um, and this is the cul-de-sac. You see the two sort of indents on the either side. In the middle is the road that's is the road. that stops at the it's end, like, like, and you have a cul-de-sac at the end. Right. So our our lot is <laughs> right on the right there. You know, it was all subdivided and never built on. Never developed exactly. So here we are standing on the land, that's exactly on there. the land. It's like a mile away. And yeah. you got this beautiful mountain behind us. Um, so it's not just like you're in the middle of a field, but you actually have sort of a backdrop, and then you look out across this uh, this valley. So we spent the night out there in the in the bus. There's cows hanging around too. Buffalo, Buffalo too. 
but not over by our land. There's this cow. Alright, nice sunsets. And, uh... Cowgirl right. Cafe in Santa Fe. We had some pulled pork sandwiches. They were delicious. Mm. All right, so here's the uh, the mileage, the turning over. We we passed the hundred thousand mile mark on the van. Of course, it does, can't read hundred thousand. So, I think uh, we are turning two hundred thousand on the van, according to the the VIN or the uh, the title being at one eighty when it was sold to us. Okay, here we are with my auntie Denise, uh, that I helped publish a book that she wrote, a Christian book, and uh, she lives in this uh, great um, retirement uh, community, and uh, we just sort of went around. We went to the botanical gardens for the day. It's nice. Okay, anyway, I can do meal. So, yeah, he was asleep throughout an entire meal, and then the lady came back. Like the lady drops him off, you know, in the wheelchair. <laughs> He falls asleep, she comes back to pick him up like an hour later, and he's still <laughs> sleeping. He never ate anything, and she takes him. Okay, so now we're like on our way home, right? You know, we're leaving leaving Texas, going towards uh, North Carolina. We gotta go through t Tennessee, right? Yeah, this is Memphis. Memphis. This is like the one home. Here's Washington. This is uh, Washington, yeah. D.C. Yeah, so it was pretty quick as soon as we left. You know, we left uh, <coughs> Dallas on. Uh, Monday afternoon, and we were back in New Jersey Friday night. So here's our complete trek. 12,000 miles, three months. And those are all of our campsites. Little yep. Camps. All the... Ev all the yep. That's pretty cool. You know, it's, it's west to, to Burning Man, up north, you see, and then we loop down through eastern Nevada, up, up into Montana, Canada, down the west coast, and across. Uh, we originally intended to go to Florida too, but um, we were, uh, yeah, we were out of money and out of time, so <laughs> it's a good time to go home. Thank you for watching our show. See you next time. <laughs>